Basically what happened yesterday is I went to Chevy, found out my transmission's blown. It's drivable, but the guy told me not to drive it because it could lock up on me. I just divided up some money. I'm gonna go over to Chevy and they told me I could order a brand new OEM trans for like 35 or $3,800. I forget which one, but I'm gonna bring like 4,500 just to be safe. Which transmission were you looking at? Uh, 10L80. 10L80. It's not available. You can still order it. We could never tell you when it was gonna be available. Thank you. I didn't buy nothing today. I'm gonna wait, see if Ed could find something through his job because they find a lot of parts. We'll go from there. The following day. I thought I had, I thought we were goody. Beamer's blown. Cleared all the codes, put the fuel pump in, fired it up, shit was like, <laughs> like oh, come on, what now? Through the codes on it, cylinder six. Injector code came up this time, so it's bad injector in cylinder six. And then we're gonna, now next week we're gonna do the Jack Turbo. Ed has a theory. No, I don't have a theory. I should have went with you. I knew I should have went with you. Man knows what the chunk in my training pan was. My guess would be it's a check ball. But if valve goes bad, the pressure will suck the little check ball through the fucking hole that it's designed to plug. So the ball moves back and forth inside that transmission. And if that check ball fucking sucks through, you know, typically you rebuild the training to fix that anyway. So we're at a crossroads. I say rebuild it, put a new valve body in it. So the price for a brand new tranny from Chevy OEM is like $3,600. But they're on infinite back order. Looking back order to the moon. The guy said it could be a month, could be six months. Ed suggested I look for salvage Camaros. Some under 10,000 miles or, or even lower. Or I go to Pure Drivetrain Solutions in New York and spend 11 grand getting my transmission built. As much as I would love to do that, I don't really that have. Kind of power, though. I don't really have 11 grand to throw. For the 11 grand kit, you, you ain't making that kind of power. Now that we're here, I could finally tell you the story. Yes, the story. <sighs> so basically. <laughs> This dude I was shooting a rap video for had some uh, entertainers at his video. So we're shooting the video, wrapping up the shoot, everything's good. When all of a sudden, a woman shows up out of nowhere. She's like, is that so-and-so over there with those bitches? <laughs> And I was like, I don't know. We all get in the car like we're about to leave. And she proceeds to open the door and throw liquor in my face. Yeah. Everyone's face in the car hits one of the strippers. And then the, all the strippers oh, at this point get out. Yeah, <laughs> said it wild. Yo. <laughs> I hope you got all that shit on video. That wasn't awkward watching strippers fight in an alley. <laughs> we awkwardly all piled back in the car and then went home. At least they were bad strippers. They could have been the fucking the D team. <laughs> the team they put out there at fucking 1 p.m. on a fucking Tuesday. The next day. I found a transmission off of a 2019 Camaro LT1 with 13,000 miles on it. My tuner told me that the stock 10 L80s are able to hold up to 850 to 900 wheel horsepower. I talked to a guy that makes unlocked TCMs for all Camaros and he basically basically echoed what Pure Drivetrain Solutions and my new tuner told me. The shift points and torque tables were fucked up in the tune and that's basically what caused my transmission to blow up. My car also had 62,000 miles on it and I beat the dog shit out of it every single day so that was probably a pretty big factor of it as well. As usual, we're cutting it close. It's 240, place closes at five and it's a two and a half hour drive away. So let's see if we make it. Get in the car, boy. You gotta suck it for you puffy, you can't smoke it. Yo, if we get that 459 and they close the gate, I'm kicking that shit down. Yeah! America! We're making it. It's gonna be sad is when you don't get your transmission. Stop. I'm not driving two hours for no reason. Damn. Damn. <laughs> nice ride. Nice ride. Um, what, what time do you guys close? Hello? Okay. okay. I'm on the way from Canada right now. It says my ETA is at 4.58. Is that fine? Well, it could be close, my friend. If you come here, the gate's are locked. <laughs> Break down lane. Fuck it. Fuck it. It Man. still says five o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I told him four fifty eight. He's gonna be tight. He says the gates closed. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> what does it say? Don't it worry says about five it. twelve. Is it really? <laughs> I'm waiting for me to get a spot back. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> skipped all that. You skipped them. Is that why they call you Skip? Skipper. They close at 5 o'clock. Our ETA is 4.58 and Skip is going 71 miles an hour. Going to 81. <laughs> no, you ain't doing 71. What's your opinion? You think we're making it? We're definitely gonna make it. Are we making it? We making it. Send that we go slow. Just cause I'm like me. Boom it. It's right here, baby. Oh, oh. <laughs>
Where's the transmission? Momo! He's like, you guys made me oh stay five minutes. Oh my fucking god. We fucking did it. I'm here to pick up a transmission. You made it just in time. I was just gonna close the door. I just came in an accident. All right, so you guys are coming from Canada, was it? Oh, oh there it is. That's fit. There it is. Here, Evans, take the camera. This guy's a pro. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Horny man. Horny man's, what is it? Let's go, baby. This thing's about to blow up. As long as you're driving normal, the transmission will last. Yeah. We made it. We made it. Mom. Cannot believe it. Driver mod went crazy. 2019 Camaro. Here we go. Back in business. He looked at the Connecticut plate like. <laughs> Crossover episode. Stroke that thing, guys out. Man got told he's buying a cheeseburger. He bought a fucking brick. Three hours later. So this is my trans, and this is Mr. Skip's trans. Tranny man. It'd be real sick if you just left the tranny that's in there in there and just put a valve body in it. It's too late for that. We crossed that bridge. I hate mix matching shit. There's a temporary fix until I can get 12 grand to build the other one. Is that like stupid? Oh, you got it? Okay. Oh, it's 270 bucks a pound. Well, I thought it was going to be way Put harder right to move here, than right that. Here behind this paper. Yeah. 90% of that shit has to come off. Now I got to peel all this shit off to get to the things that aren't there to put the fucking plugs in for the rear cooler because he didn't buy one for the cooler. Fuck, what's his name? <laughs> Kunta Kenta. I don't know. <laughs> a few moments later. Nice tonight. Throw an injector in this bitch and we're about to see what's up. 20 bucks says Ed's car's blowing up. <sighs> I know it's not because I drove it the other day. Fine. So, I forgot some tools. And we don't have the tools we need. Man does not own a single wrench. I got one, yeah. But it's the only wrench I got right now. <sighs> in the floor, in this car, can you grab me the pliers? Yo! What? Let's look in here. Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> oh! Now we gotta hook the line up. fuel pump went bad the low pressure fuel pump went bad because the high pressure fuel pump went bad it was working way too hard in the tank to push fuel to the rail so we replaced the low pressure fuel pump it got a little bit better replaced the high pressure fuel pump it got back to normal and exploded the bad injector thus replacing the injector yes. he's been angry <laughs> I thought I saw this a fucking angry man right there.